Hi, I'm Mr. V. Welcome to Story Club. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up? Today's story is about a real boy named Justin who always wanted to be a professional hockey player. Well, that would take a lot of hard work and perseverance. Let's see how that turned out. Today's story is called Shoot for the Goal, the Justin Advocator story. If you have your own copy, go ahead and grab it now so you can read along with us. Shoot for the Goal, the Justin Abdelkader story, by Justin Abdelkader, illustrated by Mary Sindrich. When Justin turned four, he received his best birthday present ever. My very own hockey jersey. You have some growing to do before it fits, Justin's mother chuckled. Justin wore the jersey everywhere, to preschool, to eat dinner, to bed. He never wanted to take it off. All he could dream about was becoming a hockey player. Justin's dad took him to watch the older kids skate on Muskrat Lake. First, they had to make sure the ice was safe. Frozen solid, his dad said. Let's go, the other kids shouted. Can I go out there, Dad? Justin pleaded. You have to learn to skate first. To practice, his family went skating at the rink every Sunday. Justin pushed a chair on the ice around and around, feeling more comfortable on the thin blades of his skates. I'm skating! When Justin joined his first hockey team, his dad was one of the coaches. Justin loved it when his dad tied his skates and gave him a pep talk before each game. Justin had played in many games and hadn't made a goal. So nobody thought he would score when the puck came his way. Justin, take the shot! He raced down the ice and score! His first goal! When Justin was eight, his parents surprised him with tickets to his first Detroit Red Wings game. I can't wait to go. You've got to get your science project done first, his mother said. It took Justin's family three hours to drive to Detroit. At the arena, Justin said, One day I'll be skating on this ice. I am going to be a Red Wing. As Justin got older, hockey became a bigger part of his life. He practiced after school, even on the weekends. He did homework on the many long drives home from games. If he hoped to play hockey, he had to get good grades. Justin's middle school team was starting a new season. He joined the other kids to see who had made the cut. His name wasn't on it. Maybe I'm not cut out to be a Red Wing after all. Justin decided to work as hard as he could. He kept practicing day after day. Long after all the other players went home, he was still on the ice, shooting one puck after another into an empty net. At the high school career fair, Justin and his friends went to meet a professional hockey player. He had a giant fishbowl full of white marbles and one red marble. Excuse me, sir, but why is there only one red marble? Justin asked. That red marble shows your chance of becoming a professional hockey player, the man said. It's one in a million. At first, Justin was discouraged. Then he decided he would be that one red marble. So he worked even harder and became captain of the high school hockey team. This is it, Justin thought before every game. This is my chance to show what I can do. He believed in himself every step of the way. Coaches from many colleges wanted Justin on their teams, but his heart was set on going to the same college his dad and grandpa had attended. He had pictured playing there all his life. When he was offered a scholarship and a place on the team, he was thrilled. One day, Justin got the most exciting phone call of his entire life. It was the Detroit Red Wings. They wanted him to join the team. Did he want to? Of course I do. 
He called his parents. They were happy too, though it meant he would have to leave school before he could graduate. Promise me you will finish college someday, his mom said. I will. Justin couldn't sleep the night before his first Red Wings game. In the locker room, he was starstruck as he suited up among his hockey idols. When he skated onto the ice at Joe Louis Arena for the first time, the place was packed. The fans were on their feet. He knew he would remember this day for the rest of his life. The Red Wings won the Stanley Cup that season. As Justin skated around the arena, he thought about the path that led him there. It had been a lot of work, but it was all worth it. It was the best feeling in the whole world. Justin didn't forget his promise to finish college either. It took a few years, but he finally earned his degree. Justin had achieved his goals. He had become a professional hockey player. He had finished college. Stay with it, he tells kids now. Work hard. Keep believing in yourself. Dreams do come true. Justin set a pretty lofty goal for himself. It was hard at times, and he wasn't always successful. It could have been easy for him to give up in middle school when he didn't make the team. But instead, he decided to try even harder, and finally he was successful. My dad always says, if it was easy, anybody could do it. Don't be afraid to fail or make mistakes when you try new things. Just start over and keep working. I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. And until next time, keep reading.